Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hazik, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Harmony One. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. And let's get straight into the TA. So jumping into the daily chart on TradingView, as you can see, we have a Fibonacci retracement set up with the swing high in January or in October 2021. Basically, uh, two exact same highs. So it doesn't matter where you uh, drag the Fibonacci retracement from. And we have the swing low over here in July of 2021. Now, our technical target was the zero point not the zero point, the 1.618 Fibonacci retracement level at 0.013 cents. And that's exactly where we retraced in November. We, you know, bounced off of that level multiple times. And right now it looks like we might be breaking out of a major resistance level as well. And as you can see, this 1.618 level perfectly aligns with the swing high that we created in August of 2020. So we're basically back testing a previous swing high as support, which is logical, which is what you do uh, when you break above a major resistance level. And uh, yeah, it took us to back test it for a very long time because we entered this bull market, but we ended up coming back down there. And these are very, very good buying opportunities for Harmony One. So anyone looking to start dollar cost averaging could start at these levels because this is fairly cheap. Let's zoom back out and and let's see how low we've come since the all time high in um, in January 2022. So that would be around a 96 percent pullback. So we we're sitting at a 96 percent pullback for Harmony One seems about right for a bear market. Now, I don't know if there's going to be another capitulation in crypto where we go back down to ten thousand dollars. I am constantly talking about the Fed pivoting, but we don't know when that is going to happen. Some people are saying that uh, that's going to happen uh, at the beginning of the next year, quite possible. And that is possible. It's, it's possible that the the S&P 500 is going to crash after that because it has done that. It has done precisely that every single time the Fed has pivoted in, in the past. But we haven't seen that after the creation of Bitcoin, essentially. So this is the first time we're going to be seeing a Fed pivot uh, with with this large crypto market, which in fact, it isn't really that large. So let's zoom into the daily chart and see what is going on. So obviously, we are below this yellow resistance trend line. We've held it as support multiple times, once in July this year, once in August, in September, in in October. Uh, we had a little fake out in October as well. And then we dropped in November after the San Bankman Freed scam. Uh, and we went all the way down to our 1.618 target, as you can see. So that's a perfect retracement. So this really wants to look like the bottom of the bear market, does it? This is a really, really good spot to say that this is the bottom of the bear market. We've reached our 1.618. We are retesting the swing high of August 2020. We have we have corrected 96% from the all time high. So everything's pointing towards the bear market bottom. Now, obviously, there could be another black swan event. The government's going to come up with something else that's going to drop the markets even further down. And that is possible. So in that case, have some spare fiat. Never be exposed 100% to the crypto markets because there is always room to go lower. So in that case, we could be setting up orders all the way down to 0 0.00779 on Harmony One. As you can see, that's the swing high we created in January 2021 and in December of 2019. So that's a major support level for us to retest. We haven't retested that, obviously. Uh, but that's going to be a major level for us to retest. So take a look at that. You could set up some orders slightly above it uh, just so you have more chances of getting filled up. So you can set up three, four orders, let's say. And if we see that major crash, your orders are going to get executed. And within a week, you're going to be in profit, even if you're looking for a short to mid term trade. 
this is a very good thing to do, a very smart thing to do. So that's regarding Harmony One. However, if you are dollar cost averaging into the project for the long term, I would say these prices are good. Obviously, don't go all in, but I would say starting here, 96% down from the all-time high is a fairly, fairly good entry. Um, so take a look at that. Now, if we start breaking above the yellow resistance trend line here, and we start breaking above the 55 EMA, then I would be looking for a back test of support. A back test of support of the yellow trend line. And uh, if that fails, you have the 1.618 to look out for as your support. Uh, we're starting some sort of a channel up pattern here. So let me get the parallel channel. There we go, just like that. So as you can see, we're in, a, some, in some sort of a channel up pattern. Potentially, we may be seeing a breakdown from this because channel up patterns are typically broken to the downside. And uh, right now, we're at the very, very bottom of the channel. So if we start breaking down, we might retrace back down to the 1.618. So be on the lookout for that. We just got rejected from the 20 EMA on the daily. So, you know, it's, it's the same thing with all the altcoins. You start coming up, you create a lower high, you come back down. You come up, create a lower high, come back down come up, create a lower high, come back down. So they're basically teasing you. They want people to open up long positions. And once enough long positions are opened, they're going to just dump the markets. And once enough short positions are opened up, they're going to start pumping the markets so that you they liquidate both sides. They make money during a bear market. They're not like us sitting in dollar cost averaging. Well, obviously some whales are and some market makers probably are. But the thing is that they're making as much money as they were. Well, Probably not as much, but still, they're making a lot of money with liquidating these shorts and, and long positions. So that's something to understand. And the next major resistance level we're going to have above us is going to be, uh, let me get the uh, rectangular pattern here, and we're going to set this up in, in this way. There we go. So that purple resistance block is something that we may retest, whether we uh, do that right now in this channel up pattern or we crash back down from the channel up pattern and then we come back down, retest that as resistance and uh, on the second go we may break above because we can break above a resistance level anytime, right? But we need the volume to confirm that because if there is no volume, that's a fake out. That's, you know, probably a fake out because most of the time when you don't have enough volume, you see this little move above, then you just break down, right? So you could have taken some profits there, but that's what we have for Harmony 1. If I were to start dollar cost averaging here, I would just buy a little bit now. Maybe if you have like, let's say 10% uh, right now, 10% at the 1.618. If you drop lower, put another 20%, but just do it in a smart way. Now, jumping into the daily RSI, as you can see, we are retesting our support block here, our golden support block and we've had multiple retests in October, in November, in November once again, and we're breaking above the white resistance trend line here, and we're coming back down for a back test of support. So this is looking pretty good. If you were buying this golden golden support retests, uh, you could be in profits right now, obviously, but I would be targeting the upper white trend line if we see any strong relief rallies for Harmony 1, so be on the lookout for that. Now, let's switch over to the Binance website. So, taking a look at the weekly chart on Binance, as you can see, uh, we have our major support block, and we've just retested that in November. It's from the swing high in August to the little wick that we had here, We're not so little right now, the February 2021 wick. And as you can see, uh, we just back tested that perfect back test. I had this before we had this move down, right? I had this before that. And we also had this support test in, in July 2022. And in, in June as well, uh, we had the resistance retest in August and then we came back down. So for now, this is looking pretty, pretty good. And uh, if I take some trend lines and I draw something called a falling wedge. Let me change the color of the trend line because that is not going to look very nice. Uh, can we do red? Yeah, let's do that. So as you can see, we are in a falling wedge here. And a lot of altcoins have the exact same pattern right now because you're printing uh, 
lower highs and you're printing lower lows, but essentially you're getting tighter in this pattern. And the tighter you get, the more there is a chance or the more chances you have of a breakout. Now, whether that breakout is to the upside or to the downside, I don't know, but I know that 75% of the time you break to the upside in a falling wedge and your technical target is going to be all the way up here at 0 0.03116. So that is your technical target because that's where the pattern was created. Now, uh, from where we are right now, that is going to be a 117.5% move to the upside. And I think that's possible. We could see a relief rally in December and January. That's also possible. And uh, we could see a strong drop in January. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm ready for both outcomes. And so should you be, because that's the only way you, you win in these markets. Because if you're only betting on Bitcoin going down, then obviously at some point you're going to be wrong and you're going to lose. And if you're only betting on Bitcoin going up, obviously you're going to lose at some point because Bitcoin is not going to be going up forever. So I think these are uh, great entries for a lot of altcoins, to be honest with you. And uh, anyone who's not buying in right now is missing out. And they're going to be sorry they did that, just like, they, just like when they were sorry that they didn't buy into the March 2020 uh, Morona uh, virus dump that we had here. So that's that's basically what's happening over here and it's even more steep than that obviously look at this look at this this is wow from from where we are right now to the all-time high that is a 2700 percent move to the upside so yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me know if i missed out anything important on the charts feel free to follow me on twitter feel free to join my patreon and i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye and good night